Hey there, plant enthusiasts. Welcome back to Succulents Box with me, Sophie. Today, let's talk about a timeless and versatile beauty, the English ivy, scientifically known as Hedera helix. Now, here's the thing. English ivy is considered toxic to humans and pets if ingested. So, keeping it out of reach is essential. But otherwise, this plant is a superhero in the world of air pollution, waving goodbye to nasties like benzene and formaldehyde. If grown outdoors, it can also prevent soil erosion. In terms of lighting, English ivy is a fan of bright, indirect light, but it's very forgiving and can also tolerate some low light conditions. It can grow indoors in areas that receive some natural light, like near a window or under a grow light. However, if grown in very low light conditions for extended periods, it can become leggy or lose its vibrant color. If you're planning to plant it outside, partial shade to full sun works, yet it appreciates some shade during the scorching hours of the day. This plant prefers consistently moist soil, but it's crucial not to overdo it. Overwatering can lead to root rot and other complications. The key is to allow the top inch of the soil to dry out before reaching for that watering can. The frequency of watering can vary based on factors like the temperature and humidity of your environment, the size of your plant, and the type of soil it's nestled in. In regions with limited rainfall, it's a good idea to lend a hand by watering when the soil has dried out. This versatile plant actually isn't picky and it can adapt to various soil types, including loam, sand, and clay. However, it's important to avoid soils that are overly heavy or compacted as they can lead to water logging and root rot. Well-draining soil is the key. English ivy is a low-maintenance plant and it doesn't always require additional fertilizer. However, if you want to give your ivy a little boost or if it appears to be nutrient deficient, you can introduce some balanced water-soluble fertilizer once a month during the growing season. Temperature-wise, English ivy is quite versatile. It can handle a broad range of temperatures from as low as 20 degrees Fahrenheit to as high as 80 degrees Fahrenheit. However, if you want to pamper your ivy and create the optimal conditions for it, aim for temperatures between 50 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Be mindful of extreme heat or cold. In terms of humidity, English ivy grows faster with a bit of moisture in the air. It thrives in moderate to high humidity, which generally falls in the range of 40 to 60%. Your ivy can tolerate a bit lower humidity levels. Opt for pots equipped with drainage holes to prevent excess water from turning your ivy's home into a waterlogged mess. Moreover, these porous materials breathe life into your plant's abode, allowing air to circulate, keeping the soil healthy, and preventing dreaded root rot. English ivy should be repotted every one to two years when it has root bound, depleted soil, top heavy, or slow growth. Choose a pot that is only slightly bigger, about 1 to 2 inches larger, to avoid waterlogging and root rot. While it's not necessary to prune your English ivy regularly, occasional trimming and shaping can help maintain the plant's shape, promote healthy growth, and keep it looking vibrant. Remove dead or damaged leaves and stems, and trim back any leggy or overgrown stems to encourage bushier growth and keep the plant neat. English ivy can be propagated easily from stem cuttings. Take healthy ivy stems about 4 to 6 inches long, cut just below a node. Remove leaves from the lower 2 inches. Optionally, use rooting hormone powder on the cut end. Plant in moist soil, burying the cut end about 2 inches deep. Place in a bright, airy spot away from direct sunlight. Check for root growth after a few weeks, and once it resists when tugged, they're ready for direct sunlight. Watch out for spider mites, mealybugs, and scale insects. Treat infestations as needed. That's it for today's video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and consider subscribing for more content. If you've got any questions or recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. Happy gardening! For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.